Welcome back. New year, same old post office delays. And that bottleneck is having a wide ranging impact on consumers. It's costing everyone some extra cash. Brandon Simmons explains the ongoing issues and how to avoid the overwhelmed delivery system. Delays at Cleveland's main postal service distribution center haven't gone away. The latest data shows Cleveland performs worse than most areas of the country. Two day first class mail was on time more than 92% of the time for most of 2020, dropping to less than 80% in the final quarter of the year. Occasionally something would get lost here and there, but nothing, you know, really no issues. It was just this holiday season that really things um, started to go you know, started to get backed up and I started having issues. Sherry Escott owns Paper Cuts Vintage, selling her handmade art online and shipping it across the country. Some deliveries she shipped back in late November still haven't moved. Replaced over $1,000 worth of um, products last week um, because I just couldn't, you know, I, I I felt terrible. I really, honest to God, I was losing sleep over it. And it's not just businesses losing money. Consumers are also being dinged with late fees as bill payments aren't arriving on time either. John Brutowski mailed his credit card payment on December 14th. So I had to end up making a $125 payment on the phone just so I, I could, you know, and plus uh, the late fee. It's forcing him to update his routine, something you should consider too. Start going online and paying it or pay over the phone and just heck with the post office altogether. A USPS spokesperson didn't address Cleveland's problems specifically, but says USPS will continue to work around the clock to deliver all packages and mail entered into our system, including returns. Not an ideal situation for customers still waiting, but one they'll have to live with. Now, if you're still waiting for a package, be sure to check with the company who shipped it. The online status of some packages may appear like it's still at the post office or that the post office never received them. But in reality, it just hasn't been processed yet. Also, check to make sure that your bill payments are arriving on time. If not, some creditors will refund you late fees if you explain the situation to them more. Jeez, New Year, same old problem. Hopefully things get back on track <laughs> soon. Brandon, thank you.